So at the moment, as we're approaching this headland here, do I have to do anything right now? Nothing at all. Nothing. Absolutely. We're peaking too soon here. I feel like we're peaking too soon here, David. Don't we're showing them off all the tricks here. Don't touch anything. I'm not touching anything. There's a hedge in front of us. It'll move. Is he going to do it? <laughs> oh, it's like witchcraft. And if you look at the screen, which the tractor's possessed. If you're looking at the screen now, yeah, yeah. you can see where we started earlier on. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to pick the last remaining track to fill in between here. Right, there we go. And hopefully behind us, we'll be seeing that they will... Implement <laughs> down, cruise speed engaged. She's off again. That's it. Right, so that's this bout complete, you might say. So what's it going to do? It's going to go uh, over can there. You, can can you see now that it's going to come along the the darker line it's yeah, yeah. the headland turn is created for that darker line and then it will go the opposite direction on the next turn right look at that and it's we're sort of approaching a headland now on a big angle sort of yeah. like that and it's worked out the radius it needs yeah. to turn and all that because what we've put in there is what the potential radius is for the tractor yeah and we said how close to the edge of the field we wanted to get to yeah so it, it knows its limit to what it does and it works its way through look at that i assume you'll have put in the implement dimensions. They're, they're, they automatically um, structured the working widths and everything. Yeah.